I'm Leanne and this is Isabel who is also known as Baby Bell. Welcome to our channel, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to talk about teething. If you look at any teeth eruption chart, you'll see that most of them show that teeth will start to come through around about six to 10 months old. So we were a little bit surprised when Baby Bell started showing signs of teething around about two or three weeks ago at 14 weeks old. We've been trying out various different teething toys and teething remedies, and we thought that it would be a good idea to share the ones that we'd used and do a review on how they're working for her at this young age. So what are the signs of teething? Lots of dribbling, sore red gums, chomping on everything, ear rubbing, flushed cheeks, and more unsettled than usual. There are so many different teething products out on the market that it's difficult to know which one is going to work for your baby. We've tried quite a few and we're going to review them now. Hopefully that will help some of you decide on what ones to buy for your little ones. Baby Bell's helping to co-host this bit from her newbie seat. First of all, we have the newbie teething mix. This is a glove that is designed for babies that can't quite grip things yet. It has a textured silicon edge here for her to chew on and it's made of a crinkly material to stimulate her senses. The little Velcro fastening here makes it easy to get on and off of her hands as her arms are always waving around everywhere. Although it's designed to be from three months plus, she hasn't quite got the coordination yet to get the silicone bit in her mouth, so she mostly ends up chewing the crinkly bit. That's not a problem as it's easily washed and she enjoys the sounds. It's also quite big for her at the moment, so it comes off a little bit easier than we expected it to. You're having a good old jump on that, aren't you? Next up we have this teething ring that has got a personalised muslin attached to it, designed to chew on both the muslin and the ring. This was a gift from her cousin and her auntie and uncle when she was born, so I'm not quite sure where this comes from. At the moment, the ring seems to be a little bit hard for her, but she does like chewing on this part. Next up we have the newbie little shark. This is a silicon shark that has small silicon bristles in there that are designed to massage the gums. Oh, hello. This one's probably my favourite as I really like the idea of the toothbrush type bristles on it for massaging her gums. It's easy for her to hold and the bright colours make it more attractive to her. Again, her lack of coordination means that she can't quite always get the bristle part into her mouth, but she seems quite happy chewing on all parts of the shark. We did look at other teething toys with the soft bristles on them, including the matchstick monkey, but we decided to go with this one in the end. One, because it's really, really bright, and two, because it's quite a bit cheaper than the matchstick monkey. And when you're on maternity leave, obviously any savings are a bonus. The little bristles are also a great way of massaging teething powder into her gums. Pouring it in with a teaspoon did get really messy, so this makes it a lot easier. Teething powder just goes on here, and then we can put it in her mouth. So that takes us on to the teething powder. The Ashen and Parsons teething powder is a traditional herbal medicine product that's used for the relief of teething and associated symptoms. It's made from a flower whose name I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce. It comes in these tiny sachets and the suggested dose for a baby three to six months old is half a sachet in the morning and half a sachet in the evening. So all we do is just pour that on there and it can go into her mouth. Into the shark. She absolutely hates the taste of these, so using the shark makes it a lot easier. But these definitely seem to relieve some of the discomfort for an hour or two, so we find them really useful to use just before bedtime. Next up we have Sophie. This is definitely Baby Bell's favourite one. It's 
also her dad's favourite as well because it has a squeak in it that attracts her attention. But because of the squeak, it also attracts the attention of Jesse, our dog. There's various bits of Sophie that can be chewed and also various bits that she can hold as well. So this one is a winner for us at the moment, definitely. Next up we have this wooden teething ring with silicon parts on it and a grippy bit. This was a present again when she was born and it comes from a company called Benny Blues. She hasn't showed much interest in this one yet and I think it just might be a little bit too big for her. It does definitely seem too big to get into her mouth. So we might do an update on that in a few months time. You might have noticed that I'm wearing this bright coloured necklace here. I was looking into getting a feed-in necklace because she's become really, really distracted when she's feeding at the moment and I just wanted something that would try and hold her attention. I looked at all of the usual ones that people recommend and then I came across these that double up as teething necklaces. So again, it's a major bonus for those maternity pay savings. This one is handmade by a small company called Pebbles and Lace who sell their products through Amazon and on their own website. The necklaces come in various different colours but I thought that these really bright ones would catch her attention more. I might look at getting some other ones that are slightly less bright for when we're out and about, when we're allowed to do that. The beads are high quality food grade silicon and the necklace itself is made of satin cord and it has a breakaway clasp at the back so that your baby doesn't strangle you. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you hungry? Do you need a feed? Right, where were we? This little one decided that she didn't want to sit in the chair anymore. So it's definitely proven to be a great feeding necklace and she is starting to show an interest in it as a teething necklace. I'm really hoping this one will be successful because it's easy to carry it around and isn't likely to get thrown on the floor like the other toys could do. And last on our list we have Cowpole. If all else fails we use this. Obviously we don't want to be constantly medicating her so this is just a last resort thing but it does say that it's designed for helping with teething so sometimes at bedtime we do have to use this. This is another thing she absolutely hates the taste of so I'm really looking forward to weaning because that's going to be great fun. Despite all of these toys Baby Bell's absolute favourite thing to chew on is hands. Hers, daddy's, mine, She'd probably chew on the dogs as well if she could. With the exception of Sophie, the majority of the teethers mm. seem to be designed for babies that are a little bit older than three or four months. Despite them saying that they're from three plus months, I think the, the size of some of the bits on the teethers and the lack of coordination just makes them a little bit difficult for them to use. It would be great if there were more products out on the market that were actually designed for the younger baby. I'm sure that all of these will come in handy during the teething process as I believe that it can take up to three years. I'll pop a link in the description for all of the products that we bought so that you can check them out yourself. Hopefully you found these reviews helpful. Let us know in the comments what your baby's favourite toy is and if you have any recommendations. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Yeah. Bye.